Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I know you guys have been wanting me to come on camera, spill some damn tea. I've missed you guys. I've been really busy just getting stuff done. I had a few photo shoots this weekend. So I'm back ready to spill tea. I'm in my zen. I got my candles lit. It smells so good in here. I love my little sitting room. This is like one of my favorite parts of my house. So anyways, a lot of y'all have been wanting me to talk about this whole Lonnie Love situation, honey. Lonnie Love cannot stop catching heat. It is getting crazy. So so it's two situations that Miss Lonnie Love is involved in. One is with Sham Bodie. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I apologize if I mispronounced it. And the other is with Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams, okay? So let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and break down the Portia versus Lonnie team. So what happened is that on Friday, a clip went viral of the Ladies of the Real talking about Portia taking back her cheating fiance, Dennis McKinley, who basically fucked around on her while she was pregnant. And so they were all giving their opinion and saying like, like, you know, what they thought about the situation. And um, basically, Lonnie Love cracked a joke and said that Portia was doing this to, you know, get a show. And Adrian Bailon had some things to say. And it seemed like Portia was really mad at Adrian and Lonnie. But Tamara also had a lot to say as well. But Portia didn't seem to be mad at Tamara. So I want to go ahead and show you guys a clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, one person who doesn't care what you think about her is Portia Williams from <laughs> The Real Housewives. And I don't know if you guys heard, but she recently announced that she is still planning to marry her fiancé, Dennis McKinley. Oh, you're shocked. Okay. So if you don't know, uh, Dennis McKinley was unfaithful with her during her pregnancy. She still wants to marry him. And she also said at BravoCon that she wants to get married on television. So... Just asking, do you guys think it's a good idea for Portia to give her fiance a second chance at marriage and on TV? I feel like to someone's maybe it depends. Yeah. May, maybe Portia knows what's best for Portia. What I, I we only know Portia off of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We don't know what's what those, really happening behind the you scenes. You don't know, so I can't say. I know that some women don't take cheating that seriously like for them they, I, me and Tam's eyes just went what? out because we yeah. feel differently <laughs> you, you and me feel very differently yeah. we feel like that for us is the deal breaker. Deal breaker. that's a deal breaker for Tam and I especially when I'm pregnant yeah, yeah. that's for me yeah. now dang that's me. You, while that's oh. our sentiment I have literally spoken to other women that feel very differently about this why they marriage I don't know or understand but this, this, I've literally heard people say they feel that marriage is a partnership. They feel that it is, they have a child. It is to raise their child. Again, one more time, I couldn't do it, but I'm not going to judge somebody else for the way they choose to live their life or the decisions she's going to make. Portia trying to get... I don't understand. Let me tell you something. Portia okay. trying to get that reality show. That's what that is. Yeah, all right. Uh, why y'all up here? I'm just going to keep sitting you know, up. But don't forget. You guys don't know people that have said, I know that someone cheated on me, but we have a friendship that is stronger than this. We have a family, we have a child. I don't know those people. I, you never heard people like that? No, I don't. I'm aware of it now. But oh, I, know. Yeah, I know me, people like that. Marriage yeah, is about people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage is about respect. And I feel like it's when you're pregnant, when you're pregnant. He was just on, taking that, a break. No. Ah, you're no. dumb. For uh -huh. me, I, will be, I would be so hurt because that's the time. You're your supposed husband to is supposed be to most treat, nurturing. Yes, your nursing. husband's supposed yeah. to treat you like a queen every day. Yeah. But when you're yes. pregnant, yes. it's supposed to be about a celebration, unity. They're supposed to be like, what you want, baby? What you want? Right, right, right. right. I don't okay, care. Cheetos. Right, right, I, right. I don't care any time. <laughs> but that's me, Have though. you ever met people like this? That I do. I do. I know. Wow. I know some people yeah. like that. But I think more I so it. than anything, and just to piggyback off of what Lonnie said, you know, it's the, I'm a private person. So to do it publicly on television, mm -hmm. I, I personally wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, have my marriage uh, on display like that or mm -hmm. a, a marriage, you know, But like you got to, I mean, I would be intrigued. 
Oh, because she, well, you used I mean, to, she said you, intrigued. I would be intrigued to watch it because it makes for good TV. It makes for good TV. And what if she's planning on like maybe getting him all the way up to the altar and then leaving his ass? Oh. And then, you know, yeah. Okay. That's what I say. Said. Yeah. Okay. You don't know. Portia might be outsmarting the whole situation, including us. I sort of. You guys just saw that clip. So once it went viral, Portia Williams took her Instagram page and she went out. So this is what Portia said. Go ahead and check this out. So Portia says, bitch, F you, fake ass. Don't run up smiling when I see you. Yes, I have my damn tea bottle here. So you guys heard what Portia had to say. Portia was not here for it. So of course, Lonnie Love jumped in her comment section. This is what Lonnie Love said to Portia. Y'all check this out. Solani Love says, Portia, I didn't say anything bad and you know it. It was a lighthearted comment and I hope you get your show. Hashtag comic. And then if that's not crazy enough, Tamar Braxton also jumped into the fray as well. Basically, Tamar ends up in Portia Williams' comment section and she put a side eye emoji. Basically showing that she's watching everything play out, okay? So this entire situation is crazy and I want to say this, like I said on Instagram, now, first and foremost, what is the difference between what the real is doing and what I'm doing, okay? They don't talk about anything really of substance. All they do is gossip about other people's business, okay? But somehow they want to make, you know, the celebrity gossip industry professional. They want professionals who have degrees to fucking gossip about celebrity business. Like, get the hell out of here with that shit. They're doing nothing different than what I do here on YouTube, okay? So my thing is this. What I don't like is the hypocrisy. See, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. Portia Williams does the same damn thing on Dish Network. She sits up, she talks about other people's business, she talks about other celebrities, she comes for people on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? She uses that platform to check them when need be. So I find it really funny that now that her situation is being discussed, now she has an attitude. Let me go ahead and play you guys this clip of Portia Williams going off about Candy inviting her to her party and her feeling like she was played. Y'all go ahead and check this out. For me, I accepted the invitation because, you know, if you're trying to get to a better place with somebody and they invite you somewhere, especially something special like this, I felt like I needed to go to show my support, you know, as an effort towards doing better in our relationship. And once I got there, I still kind of was like, okay, I knew it was going to be a little awkward. But then watching the show last night, I was like, this girl's so petty. Like, it, it was just like beyond pathetic, beyond classless. I thought it was ridiculous. I wish I hadn't gone, I tell you that much. But when I looked at it, I was like, damn. And then plus, I didn't know that she was giving the invitation begrudgingly. Like, oh, I'm gonna invite her so she can see what winning looks like. Baby, you're not the only one getting oh. blessed, honey. And I already thought that she thought she was better than me and better than other people. And now I see it. And that's not humble, sweetie. Check your attitude. I know exactly what winning looks like. This mm. is it right here. Oh, oh. Blessed and highly favored. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So by this logic, should Candy threaten Portia as well? Should Candy go to social media and say, bitch, I should beat your ass. You're fake. Don't be top mommy on your little show and all this other stuff. No. To me, I felt like Portia overreacted, okay? Because what I noticed is a lot of people want to get into the commentary game. They want to give their opinions on celebrities. But then it's hard because you're also friends with these celebrities as well. Now, people are saying, well, Portia and Lonnie are cool. That don't mean shit. They're, they might be cool, but it's associate cool. Now, I can see if this was Shamia up there bumping her gums or if this was Lauren, you know, Portia's sister talking about her. This is Lonnie Love. So even if they're cool, Lonnie still has a job to do. She's still going to give her opinion in a comedic way. So I felt like Portia's response was not necessary. If you're not going to threaten any of the white blogs and threaten to kick their ass, don't come for the black blogs because ain't nobody saying nothing different on none of these social media platforms than what the real is saying. There's all types of people saying that you're stupid for taking Dennis McKinney back and this man cheated on you and why would you lower yourself you could be with somebody better everybody has an opinion me personally I don't care if she wants to get married to him or she wants to take him back that is her business because the main people who talk the most shit about people going back to their cheaters have taken their own cheating boyfriends and husbands back time and time again so you know what I'm saying I would never say just throw a relationship away go to counseling see if you guys can work it out but and if it's meant to be it will be you there's nothing wrong with giving a relationship another chance if that's what she chooses to do that is her business I'm not in a relationship with Dennis McKinley so I don't care
hair. That's Portia's headache to deal with, okay? But I definitely understood where Tamara was coming from. She made a lot of good points. When you cheat on somebody, especially when they're pregnant with your child, that is the ultimate disrespect for most women. So I understand women who are like, you know what? Hell no. That's the final straw with divorces ass and just go get my child support check and call it a day. So I see both parts. But again, Portia can't get mad and threaten to kick people's asses when she does the same thing on Dish Network. They all do. Okay, and that's what I always say about people who want to do commentary. Okay, you can't do commentary and be in everybody else's business and spill tea, but then when it's your own business, you get into your feelings, you get mad. You know, how people do commentary on me and give opinions on me, and people are like, What do you think about this? Or so and so said this about you. I don't give a flying fuck, bitch. This is what I do for a living. I give commentary, so if bitches want to talk about me all day, honey. I welcome it. Okay, that's just more attention, more traffic, more clicks and views to my shit. So people can be like, Well, damn, who is lovely tea you know what I mean so I don't ever trip by people doing commentary on me if I can dish it I can damn sure take it and I've been able to take it all these damn years being on YouTube so again if y'all want to jump into the commentary game you can't get in your feelings when the rabbit has the gun and you're the topic of discussion point blank period friendship or not they have a job to do just like friendship or not Portia has a job to do when she's giving commentary on Dish Network so I didn't like the hypocrisy of that situation. As far as Tamar Braxton, honey, let it go, okay? This whole real versus Tamar situation has been going on for the past two years, and I'm not here for it at all, okay? So now, on to other Lonnie Love news. Lonnie Love has been getting drugged by how she treated, um, I guess this woman, she's a personal self-help guru. She talks about sex and relationships and things like that. Let me be honest, I've never heard of this woman until this whole story went viral. Her name is Shan Bodie, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I apologize if I mispronounce it, but basically Lonnie Love um, and Jeannie Mai, they were all talking about her, you know, her relationship advice and Lonnie caught the girl white, okay? And so this has caused a bunch of racial drama on social media. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Shan is really, really educated and passionate about the topic of intimacy. Um, on her Instagram, she actually gives people bite-sized tips on how to really get to know your femininity or your personality so that you don't have to just use your words in order to communicate what you want. You don't have to just use um, your body, that you actually use all of what God gave you to really get what you want and to really own who you are. She's an empowering woman. She's a feminist. And she's really, really, really good at what she teaches. So if you need to just understand all the good things you have to be able to get what you want in life and be direct about it, she's the girl for you. I think if you have someone following you around, telling you what to do on a date, maybe you need to reassess yourself. What is next? She's, she's next. next. She's, she's having fun. That's white. 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 This is a friend of mine. She's mad cool. She's actually on my podcast. I didn't say that she was a bad person. She's not white. Let me check you right there. No, wait. She's not white. Said you she, just said that she was white. She, she ain't all the way black, is she? Since when did a percentage make you? She's biracial. I think she's part white, and I believe that's part of her whiteness coming out because black people ain't going on no thing. Tell us something. Here, she, hold it. She has a really big. She has a really big following. That's I great. Like on that's, her Instagram. You guys, that's great. Ain't nobody saying that. What I'm saying is, this girl right here is biracial. Yeah. Okay. Hi. She's part black. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So that clip was definitely cringy, to say the least, okay? Now, first and foremost, I didn't really understand where Lonnie was coming from. I'm like, okay, the girl clearly looks mixed. Okay, she doesn't even look racially ambiguous. She looks biracial to me. I'm like, is she one of these light-skinned biracial women who throws shade at dark-skinned women, who, you know, perpetuates colorism? Like, I didn't understand where Lonnie was coming from with that because it seemed really off like she had some type of, you know, issue with her. So I went to go look up the woman, and from everything I've seen, she seems like a sweet person. She seems positive. I don't get that vibe that she's a colorist, so I don't understand why Lonnie would look at her and call her white. You know, at the end of the day, nothing about her says white. Does she look ambiguous? Yeah, she can pass for a few different races. Does she look mixed? 
Yes, she does. But does she look white? Absolutely not, okay? I mean, and my thing is you could tell that it definitely bothered Tamara because Tamara is the same mixture as this woman. So it's like if you're calling her white, then what do you think about Tamara? What do you think about Tamara's kids who are definitely more white than they are black? I felt like it came from a negative spot. So Lonnie Love is addressing it today. And um, I guess her name is Shan Brudem. But on her Instagram, she goes by Shan Bodie. Lonnie Love is addressing it today on The Real. And she's saying that people basically need to lighten up. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip from today. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The thing is, is that just like we make black and white jokes, everybody on this table makes black and white jokes on this. But it just depends I have felt on it. how you do it. Yeah, <laughs> it just depends on how you do it. And the thing is, for me personally, I never try to say something that's hateful. Any joke that I've said on this show has been said out of love. It's not out of hate. But people just have to loosen up. And the thing is, we all adjust, we all evolve. Comedy is evolving. That's what you see with yep. the LGBT mm. jokes. It's like now, you know, 10 years ago, it was cool. Now it's not yeah. cool. And so we will keep evolving as a country. And but all right, so you guys just saw that clip. So in my personal opinion, I feel like Lonnie was trying to be funny and her joke fell flat, okay? Now, I've met Lonnie before. Lonnie's a really cool chick. You know what I'm saying? She's one of those people she has to kind of vibe you out and feel you out. But once she gets comfortable with you, she cracks jokes. You know, she's really funny and very down to earth. But I think that this joke fell flat. Black and white jokes are only funny if there's truth to back it up. Looking at this woman, this woman does not look white, okay? So for you to call her white, that was just silly. And even if she was white, what is the big deal being that you have a white man, okay? Your boyfriend is white, so what is the problem? You know, so once again, this just perpetuates a bunch of colorist narratives and another, you know, dark-skinned black girl coming for, you know, the mixed girl and she's clearly jealous and why is she attacking her? Those are all the comments I'm seeing online. It does come out very rude when you're calling her white and you're dismissing her work. You know, you're acting like her work is no big deal and you know I just thought it was just really shady the way she came off unfortunately maybe she didn't intend to come off that way but that's how it came off to me because you know when I watch Lonnie Love talk about it, I'm like well damn you know who is this chick what has she done is she you know passive aggressive does she think she's all that like you know what's the problem and then when I went to just go watch some of her stuff I'm like nah she seems like a sweet woman so you know all this passive aggressive you know shade towards her wasn't necessary especially when these are the same women who sit up here cry tattoo tears constantly about other women tearing other women down and other women not supporting other women and and all this stuff and I'm constantly seeing the real being hypocrites you know they say one thing but then they do another and then another person that maybe kind of give her the side eye now I respect Jeannie Mai for sticking up for her friend and saying wait what you're saying is racist and she's not white and that's not okay you know the racial undertones are not okay now I find that very funny that when it comes to her friend she understands that the racial undertones and the way that Lonnie was coming off wasn't okay but Jeannie Mai hope I'm saying her name right this time is the same one who said that she likes you know a side of dark meat you know not to marry but she likes that black beef, okay? So it's funny that she can sexualize black men. You know, she can fetishize and sexualize them. And, you know, that's okay. And when people called her out, she excused it. It was just a joke and everything else. But then when her own co-host makes some racially insensitive remarks, all of a sudden she's running with her cape to go defend her friend. So my thing is, Jeannie, you got to keep that consistency, okay? You can't see, you know, wrong in what Lonnie says, but then when you say stupid shit like that about, you know, you want a side of black beef and you like dark meat and all this goofy stuff, it's okay. It all falls under the same category where you guys are disrespecting people based on how they look and based on their attributes as opposed to embracing them as a whole person that they are. So I hope The Real learns from this. I hope they get it together. You know, Lonnie's been catching a lot of heat, like I said, with the Porsche situation situation honey a hit dog will holla okay I don't think none of the ladies were wrong for what they said about Portia because again it's commentary and if you can't handle commentary when it's about you then you damn sure shouldn't be in the commentary game point blank period that will always be my mentality now as far as what was said about Shan I don't agree with that at all I thought that she was being very passive aggressive towards her and being very dismissive of her work especially when these are the same women who talk about you know uplifting other women and you know especially black women and women of color and then to just be dismissive of her work and you know talk down about what this woman has built I don't think that was okay so hopefully this becomes a learning experience for everyone but again this is what happens when everybody and their mama decides to do commentary and start up talk shows and all types of goofy shit okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping 
Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Lonnie Love getting all types of backlash, honey, for the drama with Portia over the weekend. Now for the drama with Shan. How do you guys feel about the entire situation? And then how do you guys feel about Lonnie Love's response today? Telling folks that they need to lighten up. They need to loosen up. It's not a big deal. It was just a joke. Did you guys find it as a joke? Or do you feel like her joke fell flat? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.